change my elf name from Crumpet to Blister. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sentinel Diaries, which is written by David Sedaris, which, and it's hilarious and wicked, just the sort of thing that we wanted to do for the holidays, we wanted to stay away from sentimental. It was very funny, laugh out loud funny. It, was, it had some really, really great moments, but then it also had some moments that were a little, you know, whoa, this is what life is like this time of year for people that have these jobs. There was a line for Santa and a line for the women's bathroom, and this one woman who had only asked me a thousand questions, she was a friend of friends, asking me, which is the line for the women's bathroom? I shouted, I think it's the one with all the women! <laughs> People love about David Sedaris. What I love about him is his he's subversive and, and his uh, comedy is wicked and naughty. Have you ever realized that Santa is an anagram for Satan? <laughs> <laughs> he says not only the things that we think, but the things that we don't dare to think. He says them out loud. Uh, um, politically incorrect is an understatement. Yeah, I like David Sedaris. This is good. Yeah. It wasn't too offensive. It could have been more vulgar, honestly. Oh, it was fun. It was fun. Set, oh, I said in good humor and good, good style. It was good. And she said, I'm going to have you fired. She was the second person who said that today. I'm going to have you fired. Go ahead, be my guest. I mean, who do these people think they are? I'm going to have you fired. And I want to lean over and say, I'm going to have you killed. <laughs> I change costumes on stage. I go from uh, a seemingly normal guy to uh, a Macy Santaland elf. And one of the first ideas when I read the script was that this has to happen on stage. It has to be a public humiliation. And I mentioned that to Irene Levis, the director, and she said, of course, naturally. I really thought the whole costume change in the middle where he actually got down into his shirt and underwear was hysterical. Um, I didn't expect him to actually put on an elf costume. Every night it, it, it still is, is very difficult and very humiliating to do, and I'm, do, I'm doing that in the uh, name of coming. <laughs> <laughs> this is my work, you. <laughs> this is the first time I have ever done a one-man show. So your acting partner, really, the dramatic uh, excitement, if you will, of, of the piece comes between the rapport with the audience. Well, I love the uh, cabaret atmosphere of the whole thing, and uh, that was just very enjoyable. It's a very personal setting. Um, he came out into the audience and really connected with a bunch of people, so I thought that was really cool. You know, it felt very natural to me. It just felt like he was really, really just talking to us. I, I, I didn't feel like it was giving a performance. I felt like, you know, this was this guy was sharing a part of his life, and there we were. We were all invited to watch and listen to him complain about everything that he was going through, and... Yeah, I just really felt a part of it. My sister Amy, she lives over a deaf girl, and she's learned quite a bit about sign language, and she talks on it to me. So now I can also say Santa has a tumor in his head <laughs> the size of an olive. <laughs> Perhaps it will go away tomorrow, but I don't think so. <laughs> It's completely unpredictable. I really feel like communion happens in a, in a very visceral way with the audience. It's, uh, it's like nothing I've experienced in the theater before. And it, it's terribly fun, terrifically fun, and uh, very exciting for me. Definitely recommend Santa Land Diaries to anyone who wants to come out and have a good time and enjoy a night with a cocktail. <laughs>